cameras on. So we will call the meeting to order at 6.17 p.m. And we will stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We don't have any minutes to review from... Uh, I sent them to you previously. They are at the bottom there. But if you have not read them, then yeah, we, nope. can save we will skip those. We will, yes. we will not be approving them. So. All right. So I would like to make a recommendation because this is off schedule and it's really a meeting only because we have time deadlines that you make a motion to waive all of the items on the agenda that they will then be in turn added to the next agenda other than number three and number eight on, right. on the list. So I move, I, 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 since you're running the meeting, I okay. think I have to make the motion. Yes, that's all right. correct. Um, I move that um, we pass over or skip all of the agenda items except for number three and number eight and uh, all the others we'll attend to at our next regularly scheduled meeting next week. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, report on warrant signed, four year 23, number 14 AP warrant for $466,873.37. Payroll warrant for $186,231.78. Withholding warrant for $30,495.15. And uh, warrant number 15, AP warrant for $376,665.15. Payroll warrant for $189,833.73. Withholding warrant for $71,263 even. So now we will move on to Voting as to the useful life of the new fire truck. The useful, so we are going out for borrowing, for permanent borrowing for the fire truck in the police station. And one of the requirements is that the Board of Selectmen vote on the useful life of the fire truck to be included in the bid package for the bonds. We reached out to, I actually asked the fire chief um, to get us a life expectancy for the vehicle and the National Fire Protection Association has this particular truck rated as 20 year life life expectancy. Useful life I should say, useful life. Mm -hmm. And then uh, can you remind me the, uh, the bond we're going for is a 10 year bond? Um, honestly, I, I don't remember if we if you chose 10 or 15 because I think it was re-voted for you at, at one of the meetings that I okay. wasn't here. But it's either 10 or 15 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it was a thought. But, so but either think. either one of those is um, less than the uh, the useful life. Correct. That, that we correct the, the proposed useful life. Yes. Okay. And does this um does the useful does the useful life primarily for a um does it does it bind us to anything in the future or is it Nessus, primarily used just for the borrowing. It's just used for the borrowing. Okay. I mean, we have a truck back there, I think from the 70s, mm -hmm. that's still running. So it doesn't preclude us from using it as long as it's functional. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it gives those who are going to be purchasing the bonds surety that we're, they're not buying something that's going to be, um, they're not giving us money for something that's going to be junk before they've we've paid for it mm -hmm. so. yeah they, they want to know that the probably the collateral for the loan is still going to be good by the yes. time the loan is paid off mm -hmm. that's reasonable all right that's a good way to put it thank you mm -hmm. all right uh let's see i i move that we um vote to declare a uh, useful life of the uh, new fire truck to be 20 years second okay all in favor aye aye Uh, the next thing is vote on the Worcester Regional Retirement System COLA. So the Worcester Regional Retirement System granted a cost of living adjustment to the retirees. Um, I believe it took effect in July. 
and it was 5% at that time, if I'm not mistaken, and they were given permission by the state to up that between 2 and 5%, and the, the retirement board voted for the Worcester Regional Retirement System to offer a 2% increase on top of the rest of it, and it'll be retroactive for our um, retirees. They need a majority of the participating towns that are within the system to vote on this before they can actually implement it. So that's the reason that this is in front of you tonight. Okay. And I'm just trying to, <coughs> excuse me. So if it, another way to think of this would be to change the cost of living adjustment from five to 7%. I believe so, yes. It would be and with, uh, retroactive to the beginning of July. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm thinking of it properly because yes. if we say 2%, I think, oh, that's just a little bit of money. Yeah. <laughs> and it's 2% yeah. more. It's 2% more of what, what they yeah. were prior mm -hmm. to July. So mm -hmm. it would be a cumulative 7% for the year. Right. If I'm not mistaken about the first one being 5%, I was told that by actually one of the retirees. I did not actually check that because they've already got that, so I didn't see the relevance in verifying what it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, I, I think the the two the additional 2% is relevant, whether it's for going from 3 to 5 or 5 to 7. Mm -hmm. The base is already in there. <clears throat> the question is how much is, is they're asking for approval for the additional 2%. Mm -hmm. And then, what would be the what would be the impact to the town? Just it would um, increase our retirement contributions for the um, going forward. No. No. Okay. No. It comes out of the current funds. Mm hmm. But because we're a collective, we have to approve them using those funds. Okay. So Seems so so for example, if I retire. At, and we're going to pretend that I have 33 years of, of service in with mm -hmm. the Worcester Regional Retirement System and I retire at 60 years old because I'm within that um, demographic because of when I began working. I retire at 80% of my pay. Mm -hmm. So my 80% is now split up monthly and then they give a cost of living increase on top of that. But the town mm -hmm. does not contribute to that. Okay. The, the expectation is that the previous contributions would be sufficient to cover that cost of living, those yes. cost of living increases. The money that the, that the retirement system has is covering that already. What's already in their bank mm -hmm. is covering that funding. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense to me. I, I, I deal with it, so I, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that's right. You're life insurance, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Uh, I should have see. let you explain. <laughs> yes, my, you my would have been much more articulate. Yeah, yeah. My brother's an actuary, so I hear some things. Yes. <laughs> this is right. actuary. All right, then um, I move that we approve the uh, Worcester uh, Regional Retirement Systems um, request for a increase of the COLA by an additional 2% retroactive to July of 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the do, right. Does you have to read it? Yeah, you have okay. to actually read the language for the adoption of the... It's here. Why don't oh. you pass that? Do I have to, do I have to, do I have to amend my... Um, do I have to amend my... I have it. He's got it. Okay, yes. Do I yes. have to amend my motion? I, what I would do or, is I would strike the prior motion. Okay. Or amend it. Either way it works. So okay. whatever um, you're comfortable with right. doing. I, I, uh, I, would, I vote to withdraw the previous motion. Mm-hmm. All right. And, or. Okay, now you can act on that. Okay. So. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> All right. Um, I move that um, to accept the provisions of Chapter 269 of the Acts of 2022, which consistent with the Worcester Regional Retirement Board's December 20, 20, December 20th, 2022 vote, will provide for an additional 2% cost of living increase for eligible Worcester Regional Retirement System retirees retroactive to July 1st, 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. All right, we get it right that time? Yep. Yes, and thank you for catching that, Karen, because I forgot that they actually gave us the language. <coughs> Excuse me. And so that's it for now. Do you have anything mm -hmm. you want to add? <laughs> Great. I I said, so I, you need a motion to motion. adjourn? I, I move that we adjourn. 
at? Uh, at um, 627. 627. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well done. <laughs> Did it this under, is under 15. Yeah.